To be honest with you, I'm not really a big fan of Audi cars. But today we have a special car, Audi TT. Yo, dude, it's the wrong car. Here is Audi TT. I have a colleague. She's technically a head of financing, a very cool and serious woman. And she's like, yo, you're interested in cars, right? Do you want to test drive my Audi TT? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Because, you know, Audi TT is a cool car. Jeremy Clarkson describes Audi TT as hairdresser's car. I've got an Audi TT. And the interesting fact about this particular car is that she is the first owner of this car, my colleague. It's a 2008 model. And right now it has less than 100,000 kilometers on the dash which is quite impressive. Now she's driving Audi A5 and she's thinking about selling this car. This is my first experience with Audi TT cars because I haven't driven an Audi TT before. And I want to understand and answer the question if this car is really worth the premium, a bigger price than Audi A3 or Volkswagen Golf. Because technically underneath it's an Audi A3 and Volkswagen Golf. This car is a combination of steel and aluminum parts. While the rear of the car is made from steel, the front body panels are made from aluminum. You may ask why like this? Well, because in this way, Audi engineers achieved around 50-50 weight distribution, which is very great for handling. I really do think that this car is a good looking product. All of the older Audi designs, they're quite round, and we, as Eastern Europeans, we call this a bread or loaf design. Yeah, bulka. In my opinion, it's very nice, very sleek, elegant. I really like the headlamps. I really like the front grille, this huge, massive front grille. Door mirrors, they're quite big. And some people dislike our the door mirrors for their huge size, but they're very comfortable. You can see everything behind, especially when you have this big hump. It has quite small rims, which is okay for winter, but I would buy a bit larger wheels because these are 16, I would get 17 or 18. Coming to the rear, we have this beautiful fuel tank, which may look as aluminum or some kind of metal, but to be honest, I'm not sure if this is aluminum and the correct answer will be somewhere in the corner. And rear, rear lamps. Rear lights, beautiful, I like them. This car actually has a spoiler, which deploys at high speeds. If you drive more than 125 kilometers, it deploys. But you can deploy it manually by pressing the button inside. I totally understand that this spoiler is not really important in this car because it's not a race car, but I really think that it's a very cool, small touch. It makes this car look much better. It looks sportier, it looks beautiful. And yes, it affects aerodynamics a little bit, but the main reason of this part, in my opinion, is just for looks, just for show. And I think it's very cool that Audi made it. I've got an Audi TT. And look at this beautiful sweeping roof line. Because this roof is formed like this, we don't have enough space for people's head in the rear, but this is a not a four-seater car, it's a two plus two. And to be honest, there is not enough space for normal sized people legs. This is made for small kids or for luggage. Let's talk about power figures. Nothing really major is happening here. We have a two liter petrol four cylinder engine. And what is really important is power figures. This car has 147 kilowatts, which is 200 horsepower. And this is the same engine that we found in Volkswagen Golf GTI. So technically, this car is the same as Volkswagen Golf GTI. The same power figure, the same engine, the same transmission, six-speed DSG. I thought that this engine is one of the most powerful engines for TT, because I thought after this engine we will have TTS and TTRS. But what is really Interesting that this is the second least powerful engine. We have a 1.8 petrol engine, which has around 115 kilowatts, which is quite a small figure for this car. Then we have this engine, and then we have around 160 kilowatts. And there's another option of this engine. And then we have TTS. And after that, we have a TTRS model. Enough talking.
Let me show you the trunk. Oh, where surprisingly there is no button. I mean, I didn't found it, so do you. Okay. Well, as you can see, there's not really enough space in this car, but it's okay for a small luggage and a backpack. Nothing special here. This is a drawback of this car, you know, because it looks like this, it's a coupe. You don't get enough space as you would get in a Volkswagen Golf or Audi A3. But considering the looks of this car, I think it's an okay price to pay. Let's look at this beautiful car in daylight. So, even despite the, the fact this car has no S-line bumpers, it still looks very beautiful, modern, sophisticated and elegant. As you can see, we have a very shitty weather right now. So, let's hop inside and talk about the interior of this Audi TT. I must say, it's a very good looking interior. It, it's made from nice, soft materials. Everything is soft. And actually, a lot of different materials are used in this car. We have leather, we have Alcantara, we have some good quality plastic, and we have some roof lining made from... Kind of reminds me of socks that are meant for sports, you know, like football socks. The color is black, which is quite sporty, you know, the whole marketing thing. The steering wheel is nice with chopped down top, like sporty looking. To be honest, that's it. If we speak about the materials, we have some scr scratchy bits here and here, but the door pockets, oh, there's like a soft lining inside, so your things won't rattle inside. There's buttons for uh, trunk and for uh, fuel tank. And also here we have a button to open a rear spoiler. Just listen how well this car is built and how satisfying it is to press these buttons. So, we went to the city center to ask people what they think about this Audi TT. Let's get outside. Are you ready? Can you speak? No, I don't know. I'm going to talk to you about this Audi TT. What do you think about this Audi TT? It's not a car, it's a car. It's 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 a car. Normaliai. O kaip manote, tai labiau yra moterims skirtas automobilis ar vyrams? Aš tai skaitau, kad moterims. O kitų taip manote? Na, jis mažas, aš didelis, žino. Taigi, kaip jums atrodo šitas automobilis? Dinamiškai, gražiai, aptakiai. Labai išskirtinės išvaizdos, išsiskiriančias lempos. Standartinis Audi priekis šiek tiek darosi nuo badus, bet lempos išsiskiria. Ar jis išsiskiria iš kito automobilio ar nieko įdomaus? Nu, turbūt spalva labai dažnai išskiria, tai jeigu uždėjos gretimo automobilio spalvą, jis, aš manau, kitaip atrodytų. Bet jeigu apie patį modelį, tai nepasakyčiau man, kad jisai labai išsiskirtų. The car looks pretty nice. I like the model, but the color is a bit like... Ne, I would say. A bit boring, right? Yeah, the color, oh. but the model is pretty nice. Okay, do you think the same way? Yeah, I agree. I think the car overall is very small and very cute. Už dėtų juodus ratlinkis būtų įdomesnis automobilis, bet šiaip geros išvaizdas. Kompaktiškas, sportiškas šiek tiek. Įdomi atrodo. Ir paskutinis klausimas, kaip manot, jis labiau tinka moterims, vyrams, ar nėra skirtumo ir pagrįsit savo atsakymą? Manau, kad tinkantis visiems, nes kaip žinom, Audi vairuoja visi, gali bet kas jos vairuoja, tai... Manau, kad jisiems. Skorio reikalas turbūt, bet galbūt linkęs sakyt, kad vyrams, moterims arba galbūt pradedantiesiems vairuotojams, kad vien dėl automobilio dydžio. Nes kompaktiškesnis automobilis tiesiog yra patogesnis ypač mieste. Lengviau parkuotis, lengviau judėti, tiesiog galbūt dėl to. Bet ne dėl to, kad tarkim automobilis turėtų lyti, tai tiesiog dėl dydžio turbūt sakyčiau, kad moterims labiau. Aišku, jeigu ir vyrai turi su keblumu vairuojant, tai ir jiems galbūt reikėtų tokio tiesiog. Manau, mėgstantiems sportinius automobilius, greitį, visiems tiems, 
kam rūpiai e, gražiai atrodyti jame, <laughs> nes nu, man atrodo, tai yra žaisliukas. My opinion is very um, different from the other cars all around the city, uh, because mostly in the city you have Mini Coopers and, and things like that, but this is a mid-tier car for, for the city, and I think it's unique in, in some way. Okay, cool. And lastly, uh, I want to know your opinion. Do you think this car is uh, mostly for men or for women or for all people, and why a thing like this? Women, definitely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would say women as well because it looks so small and tiny and compatible. Like, it, it just it, it just feels like women would sit there to, uh, behind the wheel. So when two of us are driving this car, we look like a couple of two dudes, right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, you know, like we're tolerant, so it's fine. Uh, so thank you for your answers and have a good day. Go. Let's see how it's like to drive an Audi TT in a city, in a small space. Right now we're driving in a city center and the suspension is actually quite soft. It's not very firm, well, comparing to BMW's suspension. Hey, it's a, it's a good car, it's a good car. Yeah, let's go here. Can you drive it every day? Here yeah, for sure. If you live in a city, this car is designed for driving in a city. This car has a very huge rear window and it's very comfortable to look through it so you can see everything that's happening behind you. As I mentioned before, suspension is quite, it's okay, it's not too soft, but it's not too firm. I mean, the BMW suspensions are actually firmer than this TT. Well, yeah, it's fine. Come on, Prius, go. What the f are you doing? I hate Prius. Now he's driving as slow as grandma. Oh, okay, okay. This car has some punch. Okay. This double clutch gearbox is actually really nice. Even by modern standards, it's a very good gearbox. Sorry for the vibration noise you heard before because, to be honest, not all roads in Lithuania are in the best condition. Right now I'm gonna turn the sports mode on. It started to shift gears quite aggressively, but I like it. It suits my taste. Yeah, and the throttle response, it became much, much faster. It's sharper. Yeah, I like it. I mean, the steering wheel is still quite quite light, not as in BMWs, but I like how the gear changes are made right now. The gearbox is like superb right now and the throttle response is amazing. This car really drives like Volkswagen Golf GTI. Yeah, I can feel the 200 German horses inside this car. Yeah, and I went to a normal comfort mode again, and it's, again, it's a normal Audi A3. Because as I said before, this car technically underneath the skin is Audi A3 or Volkswagen Golf. The pedal is much softer, the gear changes are smoother. So when you drive in a city, you're driving in comfort, but if you want to have some fun on the back road, Go in sports mode and boom, this car is fun. Oh, did you hear that? Like, like fart sounds from the exhaust. That's nice, quite sporty. Didn't expect that from a standard spec Audi DT. And actually, I forgot to mention that this car has shift paddles, so it adds some sporty flavor on top. And now we are on the back road, and let's see how this car handles. And 
the cool factor about this car, it's not showy at all, but it packs a lot of punch. So it's kind of a wolf and sheep clothing, despite the fact that steering wheel is quite light, comparing if you compare it to BMWs, uh, it's still good for back roads, we can feel that wheels are turning, it's not like I'm playing computer game or something. It's not the most intuitive in the world, but it's intuitive enough to have fun on a back road. The only drawback I noticed in this car is that there's maybe not enough sound insulation because as the camera guy noticed, like you can hear a lot of uh, things that's happening outside, but it's not as noisy as inside a Mini Cooper or some other two-door cars, but if you really hate the outside sound that is coming inside this cabin, you can add some or sound insulation but for my preferences this is okay just on a louder side so is this car really worth a bigger price tag than a Golf GTI or an Audi A3 well I think yeah it's a cool looking car I really enjoy driving it I'm actually thinking about buying one right now the interior is made from nice materials the car sounds great it's a cool car for a city and highway driving. So if you want to get one, just go ahead and buy it.